a night better suited perhaps to be in a ski lodge somewhere. But we're at Coors Field in Colorado. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Columbus Clippers. Giancarlos Mejia, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. And now here is Ross Adolph. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 3-2 pitch. Oils another one, and this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. A cool 47 degrees tonight at first pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Into the box now, Marwin Gonzalez. A ball and two strikes. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. The one two. Left center base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Stepping in now. Ronnie Dawson. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through for a hit. Hey, a little top of the order lightning right here, Dan. The that second and third guys in the bat in order to throw knocks out there, and now you're staring a monster in the face. Dero, this is just what you don't want to face as a pitcher, right? You get the two and three hole guys up, and all of a sudden now it's four, five, and six gonna have to get through the meat of this tough batting order. So now to the plate, Taylor Jones. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner stranded. At the plate, number 13. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Popped up. Naylor is under it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now with the plate is Gabriel Arias. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 home.
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Three and two, full count. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second. The left fielder. And now Tyler Krieger. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Arias gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Two two pitches fouled away. From the stretch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now, Nolan Jones. Oh. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Working for the punch out and the offering. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a the lot of that pitch in strikeout situations yeah. these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. One one home. I got two one the count. A runner on first with two away. Clearly off with two his ball. timing on that one. A swinging strike. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And foul. Two two and it's fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. No offer on that one and Verlander's run at full down three and two. Good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. He's set. Here's the three and two. And another foul ball. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And he loses nope. him on a breaking ball, ball. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, right and he here. wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible. But that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. So now here is Daniel Johnson looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there.
swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jordan Brewer. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking up around the letters. Next to dig in, Freudis Nova. No score here as we play inning number two. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Now here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now another one, two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. In now, Robo Garcia. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, George Valera. Ball and two strikes now. The one and two pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Striding forward now is the DH, Bernie Clement. Breaking yep, ball that time that misses out of the zone. Bottom of the second here with no score. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes the right fielder. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Batting it. The catcher. Ryan. Love Hornway. To the plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. Yeah. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. Here comes the one, two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be that down in the zone, hoping the for a baseman. ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Standing in now, Aaron Bracho. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Clement leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three.
stepping up is Garrett Stubbs and he'll start out their half of the third top of the order to follow a one and one count here's the pitch the offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The right fielder of the team, Ron Odo. Into the box, Ross Adolph. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And he takes three cold on the fastball. One gone. So now to the plate, Ronnie Dawson, who collected a base hit his first time up. Runner, runner, runner. And a double steal try here. Just got a piece to the right side. Now the 2 2. Full count, 3 2. Taylor Jones is on deck. Third inning, no score to this point. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down out there. And the runner will score from second. Throw no, won't me. get him. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. Into the box now, Taylor Jones. Oh, and able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. One out and a runner on second base. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a now guy in scoring it. position. Number Those 13. are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. At the plate, number 13. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. He's set. Here's the two two. Squared that one up just a little late. If I'm on the mound, the guy gets a hack off on me like that. 
and crushes a breaking ball down the line. Kind of note to self, I'm not going there again. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. At the plate now, Jordan Brewer. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here's another one, too. Nope, upstairs. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. So a full count now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. The next 3-2. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Skeeters lead it three to nothing. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. The one two. Swung on and missed strike three. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle no innings of this one. If he continues Tyler. this up, this could be a real solid Rigo. performance. In now, Tyler Krieger. Can't no find the zone the there as he lays off the breaking ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. He's fallen behind ball. now, three and one. I can't one tell you three. how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between 3 1 and 2 2. 2 2, you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes in the air down the line in left left fielder is on the move he gets there and that's the second out now back the third baseman next to hit Nolan Jones 0 for 1 for him here in this one ready to deliver the one and two
struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. Daniel Espino answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping in once again is Freudis Nova, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The one two fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Stepping in now Robo Garcia. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curb break a lot. But this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Krieger comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. The right fielder, number two, Ross Adolf. Digging in next, Ross Adolf. Garcia is off of first with two away. Fastball and only has to bend out of the way of that one. One of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his speed a little bit. Down to three and a one. little too tall that time. Three and one now. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs the slowest delivery. Three one swing and a liner and that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances three one fastball middle cut and he didn't miss it that's the fight throughout the course of the game to get yourself into count leverage and capitalize Marwin Gonzalez fouled away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. This one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the runner will score from second. And he is in there. Boy, Dero, talk about so close, but yet so far. One strike from getting out of this inning, but a big two-run base hit right there. Yeah, that batter was able to control his emotions. Not a guy who fears going deep in the count right there, and he was able to come through. So now to the plate, Ronnie Dawson. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this.
from the stretch. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits no errors in a runner left to the bottom of inning number four we go. The Skeeters are out on top five to nothing. Now that brings up Josh Naylor. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Pops this one up. And he'll reach first safely. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. A little bit outside, two and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. George Valera waits on deck. A runner at first with no outs here. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Pretty standard pitch now sequence batting. right there. Just how you draw it up in a sure. perfect world. Jump ahead 0-2, oh, and, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. At the plate, George Valera. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Runners on first with one down. Drilled to the right side. A dive and he knocks it down. Oh, the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Now that the designated hitter. Ernie Clement. To the plate now is the designated hitter. Ernie Clement. One for one with a single so far. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Verlander is there and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Skeeters lead it five to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Taylor Jones. One one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Number 13. Next to stand in is number 13. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. towards second and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game and he's safe he's safe now that left field Jordan Brewer into the box now Jordan Brewer ball three trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball and he missed it it's three and one now 
And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Runner at second here with one man out. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. Now that the shortstop. Stepping in now for Yudis Nova. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. One and two, here it comes. I got to count two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. The two and one on its way. Base hit to left field. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, d -Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, and stayed through the baseball and was able to come through. Number 65 Number is ready, 65. and he'll take the ball from the manager. At the plate now, Garrett Stubbs. Ball had nibbled time. the corner there, but missed two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Brewer on second. Garcia at first, two out in the inning. Now this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, six to nothing. Stepping in, Ryan LaVarnway. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Here comes the payoff pitch. He could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could now rack up quite a few more before man. he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Bracho. Into the box, Aaron Bracho. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And he struck him out. 
And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just 13. playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just Gabriel. rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Standing in now, Gabriel Arias. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. plate now is Ross Adolph. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Tough pitch to lay off but he did and it's ball four so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Well when you go with a the slider there in a full count you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Now at the plate, here is Marwin Gonzalez. He's two for three and looking for more here. Nobody out, runner on first. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next three, two. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. There's one on to first, and they get them both. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Ronnie Dawson. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Hit sharply on the ground. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Taylor Jones. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Here comes the one two. Dawson the runner at first with two gone. Sliced hard on the ground and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit no errors and one man left aboard two three and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Skeeters lead it six to nothing. So here is Tyler Krieger. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And this will be fouled away. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. That was a good job there of using now the batter. batter's Third aggressiveness base. against him. He was no putting way. up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls Yo. off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. 
In now, Nolan Jones. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound Number right now. Station. That's Number five straight punch-outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. So now to the plate, Josh Naylor. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The one-two. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Here comes the one, two. He's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Now into the box, number 13. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. straightened him up there on that fastball. It's two one and two now. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The one-two. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. That's an obvious mistake on the pitcher's part. You speed him up now with the first one, blow it right by him, and you do him a favor by giving him a changeup. I mean, that's a pitch he can handle right there. Stepping in now, Jordan Brewer hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. The batter, number one, shortstop, Freudis Nova. Next, here is Freudis Nova. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Runner at first here, one man out. That's well ball. below the knees, laid off on Two the changeup there. Strike. The 2 1 is a ball fastball three. that misses. Three ball, one strike. And that fastball is taken, but catches the outer third. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. 
Lined hard to center field. Valera is there. Two gone. The bat number three. Designated hitter. Robel Garcia. So now into the box is Robel Garcia as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. The 1-1. One, one. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that will put an end to the inning. One hit, one left. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. The Skeeters are out on top, six to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and standing in the outfielder, George Valera. The 1-1. One, one. one ball and two strikes to count. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. The 1-2. Again, he sends it out of play. The next one two pitch. To two balls oh, and two out. strikes now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. on the ground out to second. And there's one down now. The batter, the designated hitter, 30, 12 men. Into the box, Bernie Clement, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses ball, that strike two. Strikes, two. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. Skipper's out of the third base dugout on his way toward the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen. That'll end the evening for Justin Verlander. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Peter Solomon enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Peter Solomon. Into the box now, Ryan LaVarnway. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Clement leads off first with one away. Still a ball and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. two. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Full count, here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now Next the up baseman. is Aaron Bracho, oh, yeah. runner in scoring position with two gone. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
swing and a liner. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's a 6-1 game. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. At the plate now, Gabriel Arias hits it high and deep out to center field. Going back is the center fielder. Way gone. Out to the tree farm. Two-run shot to straightaway center. And with that, it's now a 6-3 to three ball game. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Into the box, Tyler Krieger. Okay. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now, you don't have to be a genius to figure out what the plan of attack is. It is ample. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 6-3. Ben Crowell has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 41, Ben Crowell. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Able to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Ross Adol. So the next to bat will be Ross Adolph. A hit in two tries for him so far. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, Fastball. Right Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. The 2-1. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. The batter number nine. Next, it'll be Marwin Gonzalez. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. This ball will be chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch.
lifted in the air out to right. Johnson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. of inning number eight set to go and set to go is the third baseman Nolan Jones Ball. no offer on that one two balls and a strike hey. strike two as the fastball is let go Two two. We got a four count. Three, you know two. you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three two count with a three run lead. No one on base. This is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking the ball. Baseman, Nolan Jones 22. becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. And Noli Paredes answers the call now, please. looking to get this one now onto the ninth inning ball. without any trouble. Number forty eight. Up next, Josh Naylor. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Nope. Now a change up, but it misses just a little now below the zone. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Okay. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And that one yanked just foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this now one. Batting. The bullpen has right looked Huber. sharp and have backed Can't up a go. nice effort turned in by the starter. Jump these there. days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So stepping in is Daniel Johnson. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this is taking the low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Ready now is George Valera grounded out in his last at bat. Here comes the one two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Nick Sandlin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and next it'll be the outfielder, Ronnie Dawson. Lays off two and two now. Popped up. Arias is calling for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman, Taylor Jones. 
striding in is Taylor Jones. He bounced out last time up. Grounded to short. Throw gets him two down. So next to bat will be number 13. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the bottom of inning number 9. The Skeeters lead it 6-3. to three. Andre Scrub is the man now called on to close this one. one and earn a save in the ninth. Andre Scrub. Now at the plate, Bernie Clement is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a triple. His third hit of the night. Other than a home run, now there aren't a whole lot of better ways to start an inning in. than a triple. Pretty good chance of at least getting one run in this inning now. Ryan LaVarnway rounded slowly to the left side. Scooped up. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Great job to cash in following that leadoff triple. Infields back, so you just want to make sure you get it on the ground, and that's an easy RBI. And now in the box, Aaron Bracho. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. One one. Misses That's low. Good take on the curveball there. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And he can't oh, catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. A three one count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. The batter number 13. Short stop. Gabriel. Digging in here for a pivotal at bat. Gabriel Arias. A knock here could cut the lead to just one run. Boy, this guy right here with that last AB. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Lifted in the air toward the line in right, and this will kick off the base of the wall. The run scores from second. That makes it six to five now. Hey, with that base hit right there, that's his third run batted into the game. Yeah, he's the reason, Dan, they're even in this one to begin with. He's kept his team together with a great approach, finding his third RBI of the day. Rafael Montero comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Rafael Montero. 
So next to hit is Tyler Krieger. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. 3-2 pitch. Count remains full. one more time and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces and with first base open the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone so no harm done force out anywhere now stepping in next Nolan Jones the base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second This is on the ground over the first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. The tag, and he's safe. And we are tied here in the bottom of the nine. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Standing in now, Josh Naylor. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Game winners at second base here with one away. Two and two. two Classic two case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Down the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And the winning run is across to score. Hey, heading into the ninth, I'm sure that the odds of them coming back to win this one had to be about slim to none. But they didn't try to get all four runs back with one swing or one at bat. They just got to work, and the next thing you know, they score four to win that darn thing. All I can say is, wow. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. Columbus put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. Nick Sandlin gets the W on the mound, so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Final line score for our ball game for the